this video, I'm going to show you a simple trick on creating a report that greets you like a personal assistant when you use it. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step using only DAX. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So lately I've been working a lot on creating stories and narratives within Power BI reports. And while I was doing all of this narrative building, I thought about this trick that seemed really simple to implement. So I thought I'd show you how I did it. But let's set the scene here. So I wanted a report that when I open it greets me and it tells me the time of day. So it should say, good morning, Fernan. Today is, let's say, Thursday 9th of December. However, I want this to be dynamic. I wanted to know the current time of day. So uh, if it's currently evening, it should say good evening. Uh, or if it's a different time of day, good morning or good afternoon. I also want it to refer to me by name. So whoever is using the report, they should be greeted with their first name and not just me. I also wanted to know what the current date is today. So what is the date when the report was open? And to make this really simple to visualize, I've created this text box here, which I've just kind of manually typed um, to show you what I want as an output in the end. Uh, actually, I want to say this good evening because it's currently in the evening here today in the UK. Uh, so I want I want this greeting to say good evening, Fernan. Today is uh, Thursday, Thursday 9th of December. How can I help you? So obviously this text box is static and we want to convert several parts of this um, and create it to be more dynamic. So the three components that we want to make dynamic is the greeting, first of all. We need to create something that determines what is the current time of day and then change accordingly. Second is we need to find out the name of the user currently running the report. So this will be dynamic as well. And then the third part is we want to just get the current date today. So we can do all of these three things using measures. So in the interest of making it simple, we're going to create three different measures for this, but you can do this in one measure if you want. So we're going to go and click new measure here for now. And we're going to start with the greeting. And for this one, we're going to use a function called now. And if I just uh, hit enter and drag this into a card here, so you will see why we want the now function. So it gives us the date and time. Whereas if you just use the today function, function it will just give you the date and not the time. We want the time as well so that we can determine what time of day it is. So now that we know that, we now next need to grab the hour of that now. Uh, so at the moment, we have the hour function that we can use. We're just gonna type now inside that. So it gives us the uh, current time now, which is in a 24 hour format, which is actually useful for us because we know that uh, 18 means it's 6 p.m. in the evening. So now that we've done that, it's just a simple change to the greeting uh, based on what the number is in this function. So at the moment, so now let's say uh, if the hour is between uh, 12 in the midnight to 11 in the morning, that's good morning. Uh, afternoon is between 12 to 17, which is uh, 12 to 5. And then after 5 is evening, which in this case, it should give us good evening. So we're going to go to our greeting. We're just going to wrap this into a variable. Uh, now and then we're going to create our switch statement for our expression we don't need an expression really so let's start by checking if the now is greater or equals to well it's greater or equals to zero and if it's 
So we said if it's before or equals to 11, what do we want? So we want this to say, good morning. Then we do less than or equals to 12. Less than or equals to five. It should be good after noon. And then we'll just say, if it's neither any of these, we just say good evening. So there you go. So that's your greeting done already. So now we've done that first part, uh, the greeting part. Let's now try to grab the name of your user or whoever is using the reports. Uh, so for that, we're going to create a new measure once again. Uh, let's say we're just going to name this one user. And for this one, we're going to use a function called user principal name. So this gets you the user uh, of who is opening the Power BI report. So if we grab that and put it in a card, you can see what we have to work with. So now you can see it gives me the domain, uh, which is my local domain that I'm using to run this report um, because I'm running it in Power BI Desktop. Just be careful with this um, because currently, because we're doing it in Power BI Desktop, it gives me the domain name. However, if you're using a corporate account or you're opening this report in Power BI service, this will show your Power BI service account, which is your uh, corporate email um, that you're using uh, in your service. So just keep that difference in mind because what we're gonna do next is to transform this string to get the name out of it and use it in our measure, in which case you can see all this jargon here at the front. We don't want that. We just want this name, the name that I have here in my domain for none, uh, after that forward slash. So if we go back to our user measure here, um, and at the moment there's not an easy-ish way to do it uh, in Power BI to just say give me uh, all the texts after a certain delimiter, but there is a way to do it. So what we need to do is we need to use a function called write. Um, what it does is it uh, grabs the certain number of characters from the write of the text that you give it. So Imagine we just give it the user principal name and let's say, give me the six characters from the right of your text. So if we just type six, it will just give us the name, which is exactly what we want. However, we kind of want this to be dynamic, right? Because um, different people have different names, obviously, and they will have different number of characters. So in this case, we want to create a dynamic uh, formula or a function that just gets the string or the name after the forward slash. However, the problem is that the write function only needs or only uses and counts the number of characters from the right, uh, which is not exactly what we need. Uh, we need it, but it needs to be combined with other things. There are two more text functions in our disposal that we can use. We can use len, which counts the number of characters in a string. And then there's also a search, which uh, finds the starting position of a character in a string. Now, if you want to learn about all of these different uh, text transformation functions, I covered it in a separate video if you want to go through them in detail. But essentially what we're trying to do is we're trying to find uh, where is this forward slash so we can put or create, change this dynamic number here from six to whatever, uh, wherever it is in the text. So essentially it will be the length of the text minus the uh, position of the delimiter in the string. Uh, it sounds a little bit confusing. So we're just gonna go through it together so you understand exactly what I'm trying to do. So we're going to just put it in a different line for now. We're gonna uh, comment it and I'm just gonna show you what len does. Uh, and actually to make it even even easier to deal with it. We're just gonna change or put this user principal name into a variable. And then in the return, I want to show you len, which is the length of our text here. So it gives us a, the whole text um, with all the jargon at the beginning is 22. 
now we're going to just comment that because we're going to reuse that uh, search if you write it here so it will say find me a certain text within a text so we're going to say find me this slash within this user uh, user principal name so it tells me the position is position 16 of the uh, forward slash so now we simply need to get uh, the position of this so we can say how many uh, characters the right should use from the right of the text so in this case we're gonna use len actually we're just gonna take that and we're gonna say len minus the character so it will say six so this is the position of the um, uh, of the forward slash besides the one on the right so you can see that this is now six all we need to do is just copy that go back here and then replace that six with this formula and there you go so you now have the name of the user that's using the reports in a measure so lastly in our dynamic text we want to determine the day and the week of day which is also pretty simple we can do it in a measure we're gonna create a new measure here and we're going to say uh, today just pretty simple we're going to use today uh, it doesn't matter we can use today or now and if we just drag that into a card so you can see it gives us obviously a date and well just the date uh, but we just want to format that into something that is a little bit readable so you can do this two ways you can change the format here on the top um, but what I prefer doing is explicitly doing it here on the DAX. So we're just going to change the format of this to show, uh, let's say, day, then month, something like this. So three or four days is uh, basically the week, week, weekday. So Thursday 9th of December. So now you can see that we have all the building blocks that we need to create a dynamic greeting for our reports. So I'm just going to delete all of this and we're going to add this into our text here. So first we're going to add the greeting which is pretty simple. We can just say uh, greeting. Then next we change the name which will be the user. And then lastly, we change this part to say we want today. And there you go. So you now have a set of texts or measures that can dynamically greet you or your users based on the time of day or who they are when they open this report. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to create a dynamic greeting for your users when they use your reports. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files and credits added in these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.